burnout. Mm. I think everyone, almost every one of us here experienced burnout. Just recently I have talked with a colleague of mine and talked about the things in, her, in his personal life, how he is uh, doing, and I heard many things like being frustrated, being a failure, not doing anything, doing the routine job, and it caught my attention to the fact that <coughs> even ministers from a theological, spiritual, and uh, moral point of view, even us experience being burnt out. And the impact of burnout is for we lost moral courage, not only the physical strain, not only the, the distress, the, the desire to do good or be enthusiastic about it, but above all, I think it's the moral courage to continue what you're doing. And I would like to suggest one thing for all of us today. I think all of us go through the cycle and the routine of life. And let me point to you the prescription from what the Bible was telling us about how to be at peace and be calm when things are rough, tough, and tumbling. I was reminded of the experience of Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 to 10, when he was complaining to God about the thorns in the flesh. And Jesus said to him, My strength is sufficient for your weakness. For it is made perfect. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, Paul was saying, Therefore, I would rather gladly receive the infirmities. I would take pleasure in the infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in distresses, in persecutions. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Jesus invited his disciples, come unto me, all you who are weary and late, heavy laden, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Friends, the impact of burned out is discouragement. We are invited today tonight to take Jesus' word, come to him, rest a while, and be recharged. May we be encouraged today as we go through life cycles. This is my prayer. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, Mark, I'm gonna, I'm